Okay, today we're going to be diving into how to nest parts and Aspire, the Vetrix software, or the original VCarve. Uh, basically, what nesting parts is, is it's going to organize these parts, it's going to rotate them, it's going to flip them, and it's going to organize them the best way it can in the sheet to get the most yield. And that literally means it's just going to position these parts within this white screen, which is the actual piece of material I'm going to be cutting. And it's going to organize them so it's going to use the least amount of material as possible. And it saves a ton of time from you manually trying to grab something like this and organize it. So the very first step that we could do is we're just going to focus on the shapes for now. So we can highlight everything. And then we'll go over to our nesting tool, which is this little button under the offsets and layout. And you can see it looks like a bunch of letters nested, kind of staggered in this little cube. So we're going to click that. And under this tab, we actually define what tool we're going to use, the spacing that our parts are going to be spaced out, and the border gap around our material. So our border gap, we'll put at an eighth inch. Our clearance, 0 0.015, which is 15 thousandths. And we're going to use a quarter inch tool to cut this. So basically what all this is saying is we're using a quarter inch tool. So it's going to first space our parts out a quarter inch, but then it's going to add 15 thousandths extra. So our parts are actually going to be spaced out at 0.265. And then our border gap is an eighth of an inch. And that is how far off this wall and this wall our part will be basically how far in from our material all of our parts will be nested. And under part nesting, we have a feature where it can rotate the parts 90 degrees. Usually want to keep this one active. Uh, mirror parts, we don't want to mirror any. Uh, allow parts to fit in other parts. In this case, we don't want to do that because we don't have any like pockets or holes. Uh, if you have any like waste material that's inside of a part, you can actually nest another part inside of that scrap material. Um, so we want to remove the original parts. It's, it's going to recreate all these sketches and position them on this white sheet based off of how we're telling it to in the top left-hand corner. So we'll go ahead and click Apply to one copy. And that's going to nest all of these parts. You can see it organized them all within this sheet. So we're getting the most yield out of this sheet. And what's really cool is you can do this for like signage too. So if you're doing a signage for a company and you go to your text bar over here, let's add some more text in here. We'll make that a little bigger at 10 inches. So this text would be really hard to nest. It won't fit on a sheet. But if you use the nesting tool, you can actually nest both of these texts together. And it will organize them using the least amount of material. And if we wanted to do everything together, we could reset the preview and select these shapes. And click preview. And it nests everything. So this is just a simple tool that Aspire and Vetric offers. Um, it's really useful and I would very much so recommend it uh, instead of reorganizing all these parts manually. I would really learn how to use this top left-hand corner and dial in all these settings and then you should be good to go.